Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. According to General Hospital spoilers, a cliffhanger that left everyone talking about the episode that aired on November 17 revolved around Austin Gatlin Holt. It has raised concerns about Austin's future, so let's discuss the awful circumstances he found himself in. Austin promised to give Dante Falconeri the identity of his boss in exchange for immunity, and he also promised to supply supporting documentation for his statements. Austin left to get the evidence he had promised, looking relieved to be acting appropriately at last. But Austin was up against an off-screen shooter who opened fire on him twice. Is Austin's journey coming to an end as his enigmatic attacker leaves him looking remarkably lifeless? After Austin replaced Franco Baldwin in the performance, they had an instant problem figuring out where to put the documentary on canvas. Although Austin never felt like a quarter main and never really became a part of that world, it was useless to give him a connection to that culture. Of course, we can't overlook Austin's uninteresting romance with Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, a combination that wasn't well-liked by viewers. Even if Austin and Ava Jerome Mora West had a bit more chemistry, his employment history with Cyrus Renault has been convoluted and, to be honest, has never felt like a perfect fit. Has the program finally made the decision to terminate Austin's tenure and simply give up on this character's poor Charles' future? When viewers last saw Austin, he definitely appeared to be gone, and the episode that airs on November 20 doesn't even begin where that one ended. Fans won't witness any desperate attempt to rush Austin to the hospital before he bleeds out because it will be the following morning. Although Austin's journey seemed to be coming to an end here, it's possible that someone may discover him off-screen and save him, much like with Nicholas Cassadine. It appears more likely that someone will discover Austin's corpse when it's too late to save him. Does Austin's death imply that Roger Howarth is no longer employed with GH? Howarth might make his screen debut as yet another character, although it would not be the best idea given that they were clearly unable to make Austin work they very likely would have employed Howarth sooner if they had better ideas. Not to be forgotten is that Howarth just joined Instagram and has been posting a lot of behind-the-scenes pictures with the cast. Perhaps this is Howarth's last opportunity at GH, as it seems like he has already been bidding a quiet farewell. Stay tuned for updates on any other comings and goings, as teasers for General Hospital suggest that there may be more casting changes in the works. According to General Hospital teasers, Maxie Jones might not give up on her role as matchmaker. It's evident to all that Sasha Gilmore and Kobe Bell are infatuated. So Maxie hopes they'll both put aside their differences and allow a romance to blossom. Although Sasha and Cody acknowledged their emotions for one another, Sasha felt that the timing wasn't ideal. Sasha believes she needs to take the time now to properly grieve Liam Corbin as well as Brando Corbin, because she never took the time to understand her loss. Cody is prepared to wait until Sasha is prepared for a future with him for however long it takes. Cody said he was okay with it and really appreciated the optimism Sasha had given him, even if that day never came. But Maxie might learn more about Sasha applying the brakes and conclude that Sasha is merely afraid of getting hurt. Perhaps Maxie will think that Sasha only needs a gentle prod to give in to her feelings for Cody and finally move forward with him. Cody and Sasha will experience some awkwardness during the week of November 20 to 24 because someone will inquire as to whether they are a couple. There will be discussions about dating, which may make Sasha and Cody ponder what dating might really be like. Maxie may decide that since Cody and Sasha are so into one another, there's no reason to wonder. Maxie might set up a bit of a passion trap because she alluded to the grand schemes deception had in store for Sasha and Cody. Cody wants to give Sasha some professional space, but some of Maxie's impending actions might completely destroy that plan. Maxie might incite a personal conflict in addition to pressuring Cody and Sasha to collaborate once more. 
Maxie could easily play Cupid and fool the couple into going on their first official date, so perhaps that would result in Sasha and Cody giving in to temptation. Keep an eye out for updates on Cody and Sasha's relationship advancements as Maxie tries to be a good friend and forward things along, according to General Hospital spoilers. According to General Hospital teasers, Nicholas Alexander Chavez will soon leave the show to work on a new project. As you may have heard by now, Chavez will be taking a leave of absence from GH in order to focus on his starring part in the upcoming episode of Netflix's Monster Anthology series. Several sources informed TV Line when the news originally surfaced that Spencer's post would not be filled while Chavez was abroad. However, plans are subject to change, so a temporary recasting of Spencer may still be possible. But it's also feasible that Spencer will be fired and sent off canvas, which would provide Trina with a significant issue. Trina won't have much to play once Spencer leaves because her present plot is heavily dependent on him. Which takes us to everything that Cameron Weber has mentioned lately. Cam's stay at Stanford and his new girlfriend have become hot topics of conversation. Naturally, Elizabeth Baldwin also acknowledged that in her heart of hearts, she still believes Cameron isn't fully over Jocelyn Jacks. It wasn't until recently that Trina was able to talk about her own love past with Cameron. Trina discussed how close she became to Cam following the death of Oscar Nero Quartermain, with Curtis Ashford and Marshall Ashford in the episode that aired on November 17. Trina acknowledged that her feelings for Cam were far different from her current ones for Spencer, but he was still someone who made an impression on her. It's clear from her mention of Cameron rather than Rory Cabrera, who she valued most in her life. The romance between Cam and Trina never really took off, but if all these signs are pointing in the right direction, perhaps they will get another shot. The writers would be wise to have Trina develop feelings for a character that we are familiar with and adore. In the interim, Cameron and Trina would make a good substitute if Spencer and Trina aren't able to be together. Even if Trina and Cam aren't meant to be together, their attempts to move on from the individuals they fell in love with may pull them toward one another. If Cameron appeared unmarried after going through another difficult split in college, that would be interesting. He might return home in a state of distress. What would that plus losing Jocelyn earlier? As they both attempt to come to terms with their losses, Trina may decide to break up with Spencer, as well, and end up falling in love with Cam. Regarding Chavez, it's said that he will eventually complete his contract and return to the role of Spencer, but it looks probable that he will be going on to more promising endeavors in the interim. Whatever the case, Monster is about to begin filming, and the show has to find out what will happen to Trina when Nicholas Alexander Chaves leaves the role of Spencer. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.